what I'm not using in my trailer. Like that. And there. Now those bad boys are out of the way. Good day, everyone. Tim from Timber Visions here. And I'm going to be taking the tractor out today to do the tilling job. But the video is not about that. What it's about is my new truck sits considerably higher than my older truck. Um, I don't know exactly how much higher, but it's, it's definitely higher. And the ball system, ball uh, hitch receiver system that I had on my old truck um, was, was straight out. So it, it worked pretty good. The trailer was fairly level maybe a little bit elevated on the tongue side but um once i loaded on the tractor it would level out well with this truck it's got a heavier suspension so when i load the tractor it really doesn't even move it at all plus it sits higher right so i had to do something to remedy this because when you're pulling a trailer you don't want it to be um angle like this you you want it to be level and i have a level out here and we'll look at this together you are we are uh almost a full bubble off if you can see that too high on the front end so we gotta you know go about that far which is probably two three inches well since this hitch receiver here um, comes out straight, I have to do something different. So this is what I've decided I'm gonna do. I got this here. The B&W tow and stow uh, adjustable ball mount, okay? So, I'm sure everyone's heard heard of B and W. They're they're pretty well known. The uh, gooseneck ball that's in my truck currently uh, is a B and W. So I mean they're they're pretty well known. And I'll pull it out here and you can take a look at it. Oh, this is it. Now, first of all, uh, my old truck was a two-inch receiver. So I have a, an adapter in here to be able to use that old one. Um, this one is two and a half. When I say two and a half, I mean from here to here is two and a half inches. That opening in the back of the truck, two and a half inches. So this ball system is special because as you can see right now, it's in the stow position. So if this is the truck here, when it's put in, it's out of the way. But when you want to use it, you pull those pins and that comes around and then you can adjust it <coughs> up and down for the trailer that you are currently having. And this, this one here has a two inch ball and a two and five sixteenths. So I have trailers that use both of those ball sizes. So I went with this. They also have one that has an inch and seven eighths to a three ball configuration. And I don't have anything with inch and seven eighths. So, and it, like my pickup box trailer had that when I got it and I switched it to a two inch cause I don't have any need for, for that. So I'm gonna lift the trailer off uh, up onto the jack stand right now and we're gonna pull out this old receiver and, and put in the new one. All right. Okay, so we have to Pull the pin on this guy also so we can spin that 
ball and get the two and five sixteenths up like that. I'm gonna guess that we're gonna be, so this is the top hole. We're gonna go down one hole and test that once and see if that gets us to level or not. So now we can see we're half a bubble. So we need to go down that much more uh, once more. Okay, so now I've moved it to the third hole down. Now my pin right there is stuck. So I have to try to pop that through. I went ahead and lowered it all the way down. Got this two by four underneath there. And I was able to lever it up enough to pop that out. So now, let's look. We are almost level. I don't think we'd want to go down any further. I think that's pretty good where it's sitting right now. So that's like three inches lower than what we were sitting before. Um, so it should ride nicer. It should uh, distribute the weight more evenly between the trailer and the truck this way. On a tandem axle like this, from the research I've done, the higher it is, the more weight it puts on the truck, which I'm not even close to weight limit with this configuration with this truck. But like with my old truck, if it was higher, it might you know, push the limit a little bit more. And then the lower you have this, the more weight is on your uh, trailer, which is the opposite of a single axle, single axle trailer. But yeah, this should ride really nice. And now I can go do my tilling job. And, uh, and I can feel a little bit better about how my trailer and setup is. Now, when I get back, I'll show you how I stow this away still in the receiver and you won't like hit your shin on it like you do with the ones that stick out right um so stick with me after i get back from the tilling job and i take the trailer back off i'll show you that okay let's discuss the stow part of the tow and stow so if we pull this pin here we can turn this 90 degrees and then you have to put it in the back hole Put it in the front hole. But because when it's in the upright position, this hole lines up. When it's turned 90 degrees, the back hole lines up. Alright. Let's pull these two guys out. Right here. Alright, so now that can swing freely down below, right? Now we can bring this up like this. Stick a pin in, maybe. There we go. Stick one pin in, stick the other pin in, and then put these pins in. So, so there we go. Now it's out of your way. You can walk by here. I mean, yeah, you could still hit it here, but it isn't sticking out like my other one was before. And the another nice thing about this system is once I get a locking pin back here, which I don't have yet, but I will, as long as this is installed and locked in, you can't take this part off, right? This is, it won't come out here. Now, if I pull this pin back here, and pull it out some, 
like that. Then you can pull it up here and out. But as long as it's all the way back here and pinned in, you can't get this past this little cutout. So your balls are, are safe, your trailer balls. Your other ones, that's up to you. But I have to, still gotta get a locking pin for this. I haven't decided which way I'm gonna go yet. There's a silent lock-in ball, they call it. And it uh, actually goes inside of your receiver tube. I'm leaning hard that way, but we'll see. But for now, I can do the old stow part of the tow and stow when I'm not using my trailer. Like that. there. Now those bad boys are out of the way. Pretty good system right there if you ask me. The B, B and W tow and stow. Hopefully you found this video useful. Um, I did a lot of research on this trailer ball also on deciding which one I wanted to go. Way safe was way up there. I think they have a really good ball. Uh, trailer ball system also but uh, the the B&W tried and true um, already have one system on this truck the, the tilling went great um, I, I don't normally videotape my tilling jobs um, I never had an opportunity to ask this guy if I could videotape plus when I'm there doing it it's like I want to want to get things done for him and and get out of the way so um, but it went well um, the ride up there and back went well it was uh, it was a good job so and this morning uh, storm and I did some cleaning over at the woodlot and again I didn't didn't really have time to set up the camera and stuff we took the tractor over there and uh, loaded it up into the dump truck so on the dump truck it it had some problems this spring, or actually this winter. I did a firewood delivery with it early December, and it wasn't uh, acting really good. And um, yeah, it, it wasn't running great. And then the next time I tried to start it, it wouldn't even start. It would crank over, but it wouldn't start. So uh, as it warmed up the spring, tried to get it going, you know, got the battery charged up, uh, and um, it would just crank and crank no fire at all so I looked into the ignition system a little bit put new plugs uh, new spark plug wires new distributor cap and a new rotor and the rotor and distributor cap did look bad and I thought for sure I had it figured out with that but it was still just crank, 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 wouldn't, wouldn't fire. So I took it to a local shop here in town because it, right there, what I did, uh, that's about the limit of what, what I can do. Um, and they ended up finding out the in-tank fuel pump uh, was not pumping fuel. So it's got a new in-pump fuel pump also. And uh, it's, she's running really good she's running good and uh took three loads uh of wood that's that's rotten right it's it, you can't make firewood out of it it's too far gone um when you take free wood sometimes you get some of this right and uh you just set it off to the side and then when you get a chance you get rid of it um but we took three loads of that and you know Branches that have fallen all winter and things like that. I took three loads out to the uh, the tree dump and got rid of it. Just trying to get things straightened up at the wood lot a little bit. Um, I'm going to be processing more wood. I, I did a, a phase cord the other day. Um, but yeah, the tractor though was clutch for that, getting all of that done because 
Um, there's so many big logs and things that I wouldn't be able to lift up by hand. And the tractor, she just lifts it right up. And the dump truck, I can swing down to one side and get it, uh, get it in the back of the truck pretty easy. Then after I get it loaded so far, then I swing up the side gate again. And um, I can't reach over the side though. With the with the gates, the side gates up, I cannot reach over the sides. Uh, at least not there. Out here at my front yard, uh, the yard sits higher than the street. Over there to Woodlot, the yard sits lower than the street. The curb's there. But, um, yeah, I just can't quite reach over. You can just get the tip right over the, the edge, but um, not enough where I can, you know, dump anything back there. But, yeah, it, it was a pretty good morning. Got the things cleaned up you know it's that time of year you got a you had a whole winter of snow and you can't get at anything and now everything's out and exposed and grass is wanting to grow weeds are wanting to grow and you got a bunch of branches and stuff like that you just you got to get it out of there so you can uh you know keep things looking nice i don't, I don't want to have a junky wood lot um but anyway Thanks everybody for stopping in and watching this one today. I will put a link for this uh, trailer hitch in, in the description if you're interested in buying it, um, an Amazon link. Um, and if you do buy it, then I get a small small kickback. If you want to buy it somewhere else, hey, more power to you. It's a, it's a free country for the most part now, still. Anyway, thanks for watching everybody. Until next time. Be safe, brothers and sisters.